believe it or not, sometimes I'm not always right. But don't tell my husband that because I would totally plead the fifth. Hey guys, it's Jess from She's the Posh. Welcome back and today I have a fun video for you. Basically, I'm gonna show you my hits and misses of my summer purchases. I have four items here, so two that were hits, two that were misses, I know, shocker, and here. I make videos every Wednesday and Sunday and they're all designer and fashion related. I never pay full price for any of these pieces. I'd love to share with you all my tips and tricks. If that's something you're into, please remember to subscribe below and ring that bell. Okay, let's get started. I know, it's a shocker. Like, I don't always get it right, right? It's just, I am just as surprised as you are. And I have some hits and I have some misses. So I'm gonna be sharing you those with you today. So I thought we could start with the handbag. So I'm gonna start out with the moment and then I'm gonna end on a high moment. So it doesn't necessarily mean I hate these things, it just means that I didn't wear them as much as I thought or they weren't the quality that I thought they were. This was a miss. And I just, I mean, look how cute this is. Absolutely, I'm looking at this. It's adorable. This is the Stodd Shirley bag, and I got mine in the mock croc, so it's real leather. Um, it has this pouch in here. You just pull out so you can carry this without the pouch. Um, the pouch is just an open pit here, and you can put your items in here. Just carry this as a clutch. Like, it's super cute. And I tied, you know, this scarf around it, my Christian Dior scarf that I got, the Celestial scarf, and it's just it looks super cute, I, but for some reason, I didn't carry this as much as I thought I would. I didn't reach for it. I always ended up wanting to wear something else than this. And something about like the clear bags, I think the reason I didn't carry it that much is I just don't like how they get, they get marked up like very easily. So there's like, I don't know if you can see that in the light, but there's just some marks around it. And I only carried this like three times, three or four times. So. I mean, I didn't use it that much for it to get marked up like that. Here, if you can see it right there, you can kind of see. So for me, that was like pretty disappointing that it got marked up. This bag is under $200. I want to say I spent $150 on it. I mean, it's still a good amount of money. It's a really cute looking bag, but like for still for like $150, bucks, it's disappointing to only carry it a couple of times. So. That is the miss hit for me. Summer bag is this one, but I plan to wear this bag like all year round. I don't know if you've seen from my video that I revealed this to you. It's my, another vintage piece. The Fendi baguettes are coming back around and this is the Fendi maxi baguette. So this one was from, I, I believe, I don't know how to do the date codes, but my understanding this is probably early 2000s and it has this adjustable strap and I'll insert some pictures of me wearing this, but I just love this. Like I ended up carrying this a lot more and I've had it less time. I've had this bag for about a month now. No, no, probably like six weeks now. And I've carried this bag at least once a week during that time. And the, and the Stodd bag I've carried like three times, three or four times. So this I've already carried more than the Stodd bag and I've had this one for less time. I love the gold hardware. I love the whites. I love the shininess. I love how it's exaggerated, almost like too big, but you kind of love it. I just, it's a vintage bag. It did not cost me a lot of money. This one cost me just around $400, whereas the new bags are around 2000 plus. So I recommend going vintage. I went with the white and the gold. I, it's not one that you can find that often. So I kind of love how unique it is. And not everybody has this bag, which is a thing of mine too. I love having those unique pieces. Yeah, so I absolutely love this one. I recommend this one. It's a hit for me. They also have this bag in like black and they have it in um, red, which I really was thinking I was gonna get the red, but then I saw this bag and I was like, I had to have it. So yes, I did get it right with this one. And I think this might shock you, this miss. So I have my, my shoe miss and a shoe hit. So, this shoe miss is not because I necessarily hate it. It's because it just made me mad. Like that happens, you know, I just got mad. So this is my miss. And it's not because I'm not wearing it. I love wearing it. It's not because it's not comfortable. It is very comfortable. It is cute when I wear it. I get so many compliments when I wear it. The thing that makes me mad is this. If you know, when I first unboxed this, 
I had bought these sandals from someone who wore them like once or twice. And it was just, the C was just worn off a little bit. I could see like the tips of the C was worn off. Like if you want that video, I'll put it down below. So I was kind of like worried. Is it going to come off? My goodness. These are like, I bought these shoes. Yes. I mean, I didn't pay full price for them, but I still, these were around I me mean, out of my own pocket. These were over $300 that I paid for these. And look at that, like that's annoying that that Christian Dior is like completely starting to wear off. And that puts me off. It makes me not want to wear them because I'm afraid the Christian Dior is gonna be completely gone. And I don't know what to do. I don't even know if like how to prevent that from happening or what, but it just kind of annoys me that such an expensive shoe is already, you know, that part is wearing off. Everything else is pretty good on it. I mean, I've worn it. I mean, I'm not gonna deter me because I have, you know, I wear it and when I wear it, you don't see that. It's just something that annoys me that I spent a lot of money on it and it wore, I mean, it started to wear off after just a couple wears and that's just annoying to me. However, super comfortable, super cute. Like everything else is not wearing on it. I mean, the bottoms are pretty worn, but it's just, but they're not wearing down like the the soles are still good but i'm just so mad about this like is anyone else like me like you just get annoyed when something costs a lot of money and you start to see like some wear on it and you're like oh my gosh like i expect the soles to be worn but like the insoles already how disappointing but i'm still gonna wear them they're not going anywhere i'm just like just like i'm disappointed do you are i'm disappointed now a hit is for me, that surprised me are these shoes right here. I absolutely love these shoes. These are the um, the Valentino, I forget what these are called. These are called like the V, sorry, but these are the Valentino, they have the V on them right here. They're in this really nice like brown leather. And this shoe is very comfortable. I'm surprised it did not I didn't get any blisters, I didn't get anything like that. And it's a super cute shoe. I have worn the crap out of this. Like I probably wear these shoes because I love them. Like if you look at my Instagram, it's like these shoes. It's sad, but I'm like wearing these shoes all the time. I have worn them out a little bit. They're starting to, to wear, like I'm getting some marks on the top just for me like wearing the crap out of them. You can see the bottom of these. I wear these, I guess, probably like three, three or four times a week because there's times I'll just like slip these on to leave the house. So I, I really like these. I think they look so cute, so chic. I get so many compliments on it. And like you don't, I mean, there is wear to it, but I mean, the insoles are just a few scratches on it, but like, it's not annoying. You can still see it says Valentino. The hardware here is not scratched that bad at all. Like there's no scratches on the leather. So it is holding up because I wear these like all the time. Just think they go with everything. They're super cute. And I also like that they're designer, but they don't like screen designer. Like people aren't gonna know that this is a Valentino shoe unless they like know those kind of shoes. And these ones I bought brand new and I pay, I got these on sale. These retail for over $600, but I got them for a little over $400 when the sales happen. So I do recommend these. I almost didn't keep these, like, which is surprising. These are my favorite purchase. And I was like, oh, do I love them? They're kind of cute. And then I wore them once. I'm like, oh my goodness, these are super comfortable. I'm not getting a blister. Oh my goodness, I love how my outfits look. You know, it's one of those things. And I just kept growing more and more in love with it. Okay, guys, those are the hits and misses of the summer. Let me know what your favorite was. Let me know if, you know, you have any suggestions on the Dior sandals. Did that happen to you? Were you disappointed? What things like, you know, drive you bonkers that you like that product, but something happens. Do you get deterred from wearing it? And as always, I wanna thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again. Bye guys.